SQL Server 2012 database design. This is Kalman Toth. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and also in your local bookstore. Let's consider exporting query results to a CSV flat file. So this is the query. The interesting thing about this query is the concatenation operation where we concatenate double quote and double quote ending on product name. The reason is the product name has comma in it. So if a file is uh, comma separated values, this would certainly confuse any software. But having the name enclosed in uh, double quotes, we can indicate it to the software, whichever is uh, using this flat file, that uh, the content within the double quotes should be taken as the value for product. We are not doing it for color because there is no comma used and also similarly product number is uh, not using uh, comma either uh, within the value of that column. So let's fire up our favorite SSIS import export wizard task export data. Now if we do import we get to the same wizard but uh, this way it is properly filled otherwise we would have to uh, fill it correctly. And next so this is the source, this is what's correctly filled and the destination is going to be flat file. CSV flat file. So this is uh, this is the name of the flat file dot CSV for comma separated values so actually we can uh, easily read it into Excel. Delimit it we put in the text qualifier so we don't have to put anything here. Column names, next, and we need the query. So let's get the query, control C, and control V parse. Next, edit mappings. So this is the mappings it did not assign any value so let's put in around 80 to be the safe side and for product number 20. We can use more accurate numbers and color 15. Okay. Probably not a good idea to put out nulls. Okay. Preview. Okay, next, next, finish. So it was successful, 256 rows transferred, close, there were 256 rows in the source. Let's check out. This is how the exported file query results look in Excel and they appear to be correct. All information is there. 
this is how it looks in uh, Notepad. So this is uh, first line is the headers, and when we see the double quote surrounding the name values. In summary, we can export query results to .csv file. We have to pay attention that the values do not contain commas. Otherwise, we have to enclose the column values in uh, double quotes. That's the convention. This is the end of a short demo.